Boom. Okay. Well, welcome back to the next of the 67 step reviews. I know you're dying to hear these and I'm dying to tell them to you. This is review of step number 52 and it was called Pareto Efficiencies in the Business Triple Entendre. Achieving the ultimate win-win with a level three approach to life. And, you know, we're reminded that most likely in life, you are either own your own business or you're working for another business. And remember what Peter Drucker says, the point of a business is to, is to create a customer. And that transitions us into um, Pareto, who's in the title here, and that's the last name of an Italian economist from the 1800s named Wilfredo Pareto, who came up with the idea of the 80-20 principle. You've probably heard of that. If you haven't heard of that, it's a basic um, life principle that seems to most apply to uh, business, but the premise is that 80% of your revenue comes from 20% of your customers or 80% of your results comes from 20% of your actions. So there isn't exactly a balance. And this, this Pareto guy is also known, I guess, for um, establishing the Pareto efficiencies, which is a way of determining how much your business is helping out the world, basically. And there's three different levels to this. Level one business are called Pareto inefficiencies. That's where you don't wanna be. That's where one party wins at the expense of the other party. The example of that that was given is uh, someone robbing a bank. The bank robber certainly is benefiting because they get whatever they've stolen. However, it's at the expense of the bank and the customers of that bank because they're being cheated out of their money. And another example Ty gives of the level one win-lose uh, Pareto efficiencies is fast food restaurants like McDonald's. They're benefiting when you buy their food because they're lining their pockets with revenue, but you're losing because your health is getting worse. So at all costs, you want to avoid doing business with Pareto inefficiencies, level one businesses, and you also want to avoid owning these types of businesses and working for them. And that moves us on to level two, neutral businesses. Those are businesses that aren't exactly harming the world, but they're not really doing any big favors for the customers. Ty gives the example of um, hotel chains doing this. You know, hotel chains are that you stay at are, you know, you're benefiting from having a warm bed and a place to sleep and a shower, but they're not do really doing great service for the world. Um, and of course, you might say, but they're not doing anything, they're only doing good, they're not doing anything really bad, but remember the quote, the enemy of great is good. And that moves us to level three, which is where you wanna be, you wanna move towards either working for this type of business, patronizing this type of business, or owning this type of business, and that's the win-win business. That's where people very happily give you the money to buy your product or service because they're so much benefiting from it. And of course, you're benefiting, benefiting from their revenue. And an example of this that Ty gives is Oprah Winfrey's book club. She's benefiting from you subscribing to her book club and purchasing her books uh, that she's advocating, but you're also benefiting because you're part of something bigger than yourself. You're around like-minded people that are interested in learning and you're getting the books at discounted rates. And so that's a win-win. And um, remember too that this doesn't mean that you have to give up profits at this level. Matter of fact, you tend to make more money when you're in the level three businesses and there's a lot less friction. You know, when you're in the level one or even level two businesses, but particularly level one, customers don't really have your backside uh, when something invariably goes wrong. You know, if McDonald's makes a big mistake, people will quickly line up to boycott because they know that McDonald's doesn't have their best interests at heart. Different than a charity, for example. And you know, Joel Salton says, like we learned in a previous lesson, you always want to build forgiveness into the land. 
So that's when something goes wrong, even in a level three business, people are quick to forgive you and have empathy for you because they know that you're doing something really great for the world. And, uh, you know, whatever level you're in, one or two, you want to move to level three. And Ty gives a few examples of how you can do that. For example, if you love eating sushi, um, a win-lose would be if you're eating sushi of a fish species that's on the endangered species list. But you can move towards level three by eating fish uh, at a sushi restaurant that are not on the endangered species list. Just eat more of those. And, um, you know, Ty gives the example of um, the difference of in business when you're persuading something to do something that's in their best interest, that's a win-win. But when you manipulate people to do something that isn't in their best interest, that's a win-lose. And, you know, another example, and remember this apply, this win-win scenario is something you should be doing in all four areas of your life, health, wealth, love, and happiness. In the happiness pillar, he explains, you know, People will oftentimes, people that are alcoholics will oftentimes drink alcohol to cover up their unhappiness. So they're getting temporary satisfaction. They're winning temporarily, but they're losing in the long run because they're increasing entropy by eroding their health at a faster rate than normal. And you know, and you're increasing the likelihood that you're going to do something dumb like kill someone in a drunk driving accident. So Ty says, if you play with fire long enough, the win-lose strategy catches up to you. So always look for the win-win. And, you know, one example of that that he gives is giving to charities. You know, when you give to charities, it's all, it's almost always a win-win. How could it be anything else? You're benefiting from the good feeling of giving to people that are in need. You're part of something bigger than yourself, and the charities benefit from whatever you're contributing to them because they can help out the groups that they're aligned with. So to finish up this lesson, the questions are, which of the three levels is your career in? How do you feel about the level you're at now? What is the transition plan to move up to level three? And besides your career, what are things you can do to go to level three in health, love, and happiness? Stay strong. Thanks for subscribing. See you soon. And thanks for watching. Take care.